Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is material the power node. I've gone ahead. I've created this quick little example. Let's go ahead and cover what the power node is and what it's used for. So we have our power node here. You're going to find it has two inputs and one output. The point of the power node is it's the exponential power of the value that you put into it. It's a standard math function. Basically, we're going to raise our base value by the exp or the exponent. So our power has one required input and one optional input. So if we go ahead and look at it here, you're going to see our base is required. So if we go ahead and plug in our base here, we're going to plug in a 0.5. And it's going to end up being multiplied by our exponent. Now, exponent can be either obviously plugged in here, or we can plug it in separately by hooking up a single scalar vector one value. So, how does it work? Well, a power, you can think of it like multiplication. Well, sorry, if you think of power like multiplication, you're looking at it wrong. It's an exponent. It's the number multiplied by itself the exponent number of times. So for example, if this was 1 and this one was 10, if we had multiplication, you're going to get 1 times 10, you'll get the result of 10. Using a power, you're going to get 1 times 1, which is the result of 1, times 1, the result of 1, and you'll do that 10 times. So a 1 power of 10 will give you a result of 1. So it is not the same as multiplication. So one thing to keep in mind here, for example, let's say you had a fractional value of 0.5, and let's say we did this by a 2, you're going to end up getting it in half. So whole values, numbers larger than 1 raised to the power make them greater. Numbers under 1 raised to the power make them smaller. So that's something to keep in mind. It's a way, for example, maybe you want to make something a little bit darker or you want to adjust the contrast. And I'm going to show you that in example here. Now it's going to apply to every part of the input. So here I have a single value to the power of two is giving me back a darker gray. If I plug in something that is a vector three, for example, it's going to apply the power to each of the values. We're going to get back just our straight one. And if of course I was to change this to a 0.5, for example, we're going to get back this altered color. If we refresh our node here we're going to get back this darker color because our we're ending up with 1, 0.25, and 1 using the multiplication of the power of 2. So let's go ahead and see this in an example here of what we might want to use it for. We have this texture sample. Let's put this on a flat plane so we can compare. Actually, here we can compare as well. I forget every time. So we have this texture sample. It's a little bit of noise, and we have some white and some black values. Now remember what I said, when you're using a power, you're basically going to darken your non one plus values and you're going to lighten your one plus values. In terms of our image here, because it's a texture, we have a zero to one range. Our whites are closer to one, our blacks are closer to zero. So by using the power node, the more numbers we put into our exponent, the darker we're going to make the blacks and the lighter we're going to make the whites if they are above 1, which in our case they're not. So if we set this to just our straight 2, an exponent of 2, you're going to end up seeing our darker values. Let's zoom in a little bit more here. There we go. You're going to see our darker values here become even darker, and we're going to start losing our white definition in our grayer areas. We multiply this something even stronger, let's say by a 5, an exponent of 5. Our blacks are going to become extremely black and only our strongest whites are going to survive through our power so an exponent node not the exponent node the power node using a higher exponent or for example a parameter for your exponent allows you to easily adjust the contrast without adjusting the brightness or the lightness it adjust, it's an easy way of making a contrast contrast control in your texture so that is what our power node is. It's a math expression. It uses the power. It's a math expression that uses expressions to raise 
your base value by the power of the expression. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.